Hi, in today's video, we're going to make a bar graph in Figma using Generator and using some uh, data, CSV data that I downloaded off the internet. I'll provide the link in the description to this video. This is country population uh, from 1970 to 2022. And so what I'd like to do is to make a bar graph uh, for each country. Well, we'll do it for just one country, but we'll be able to switch it. And also maybe respect the distance, considering that here you have steps of 10. Uh, so 70, 80, 90, 2000, 10, and then 15, 20, 22. So the rhythm breaks. I'm going to copy this data and paste it into a text node. Um, resize it. I would like to take these columns. Uh, let me just parse the CSV which gives me 15 rows and 235 columns, so it's a table. Then I would like to select from list, and I'm gonna select row zero, and I'm gonna say that these are my uh, column names. And then I will say list, so I can see them, and here they are. Uh, name, etc. So I need from index 9 to index 2. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sublist node because actually I'd like to remove this row that contains uh, the column names. So this works just like substring in JavaScript. Uh, if the end is not uh, specified, then it goes to the end of the list. And then I just increase the index to start uh, to 1, the start index. And so now instead of 235 row, uh, rows, I have 234. And so now from this, I will select from list, uh, and I will add a list so I can see what comes out. And now index zero is the first country. There's no more names. Uh, so China, India, United States, etc. So the next thing I need to do is to create for each country, I mean for each year. So I've, I've selected the country. Now I need to take these years from column nine to column two and plot them each with a rectangle and a text shape. So the rectangle represents the value and the text shape is the year. So let's do this. First of all, we are going to make a loop for these years. I mean, we could do seven years separately in the graph, but I think a loop will be tidier. So we will, let's just start with a shape. Let's get a rectangle. And let's say that it will be 50 wide. I'm going to give it a color. This is fine for now. And to keep things neat, I'm going to move it out of the way because it just keeps things less tangled. So this is my value. I guess it's going to grow more. Uh, maybe I'll make it like 30. And then the other thing I need is a text shape for the year. So let's say 1000 is the year. So I can't see uh, the year because I actually, the, the well, because it's right here, uh, but also because the height is going down instead of up in computers, the Y is inversed. So I need to make it uh, minus 100 so that it goes up. Uh, then I can, at least for now, plug this color into the text and just adjust the Y a little bit to bring it down here. Also, what I can do is I can take the width of this text and connect it to the width, uh, I mean the width of the rectangle and connect it to the width of the text. Uh, and then if I say align X center, it'll align itself to the center. Uh, the only thing is I think this is too, too big. Uh, also, I wanna make it just regular uh, and now it fits, but I'm in any case gonna change the size to something like 10 uh, and maybe make it semi-bold. There we go. And then I can move it up a little bit. All right. So this is one uh, year. The next thing I need to do is to loop this year. So let me combine these, or I'll group them. So now you see that they're part of a group in the object. Uh, and then I will move this group. And then I will repeat that some number of times. Right now it's five times. 
Now, to move each one of them separately, I'm going to use a sequence, which I get over here, and I plug it into the X position of the move node. Uh, I increase the add value to change the step that's way too much, like this. So now I have five years in a row, but I need more. So let's go back to the data. So I need to start uh, at nine and end at two. For this, I can use a range. For start, I will say nine, for end, I will say two. Actually, so this should be under here because it's the same stage, so to say. But after this, what I would like is another select from list because now I'm selecting the cell. And I will select cells from nine to two. And so I can plug this in here directly. Uh, then the selected cell, which is the value, I can plug into the text node for the year. There we go, but it, I'm selecting something incorrect. And then, oh, that's the population, right? Ah, so in this case, I actually need to use this uh, row with the titles. So actually, instead of selecting this, what I need to select from is, is from here. And so now I have the year. It's not the correct year because we haven't connected this to the repeat node. There you go. So now it goes from this to this, but it's not the correct number of times the correct number of times will be nine minus two, and we can actually be fancy and do this with math. So we'll set this operation to minus, and we will do nine minus two, which is seven, and then this will become the result. So I plug this into the count. So this is getting a little bit uh, complicated. So what we will do is try to untangle it a little bit. This is the loop. And this is the range of indices. And then this is the count. So I'm going to do it like this. There we go. Now this sequence is what's giving the X to each column. Uh, I'll do that a little bit later. First, I'd like to set the height of the values which I can do by actually selecting from here now, because this is where I take the country. And so once I've taken the country, then I do another select from list. Uh, and I go to, I, I use the same range because I'm, I need the same uh, column, just not the title, but the value this time. Here I get a text value, so I need to convert that to a number. So text to number. And once I have that number, I can then uh, plug that into the height of the rectangle. Once again, the numbers go down because it's, they're positive, so at least I need to insert a math node. Uh, so here I actually need to divide, uh, uh, but divide not by minus one, but let's say minus 10,000. There we go. So this is for some country. Let's give it a name. So we're gonna add another text shape. So let's bring this down to the same repeat because they're at the same stage. Then I will give it, I guess, the same default color for now. I will say country. Uh, let me set the X to center. I'm just going to manually set where it is. We could calculate it, but this will be faster for the tutorial. I'm going to set it to bold and just increase the font size. Whoa. So something like this. And now I can take the name of the country, which comes from index one. So I'll just take one of these 
manually set index one and plug it into the text China so now if I go to this select node which selects the country I'm actually going to highlight it uh, as let's say orange and I can run through the countries and get the population growth uh, for all of them actually because most countries are not China and India I think we need to divide by minus 5,000 minus 3,000 minus 4,000 all right there we go so that's like for most countries and then here we have United States India whoa wow you really get a sense of the difference and China wow all right now the one thing I forgot to do was to try spreading them by uh, distance according to year because these are not equal jumps so let's do that now mm. to do that we need to first get the years as number here I'm selecting the text for the year so this is where I'm also going to have a convert uh, text to number node so I will plug that into here and I will so uh, this is where I get the year so actually what I need to do is have a text to number node plug that also into the new node and then use this number uh, to position the text uh, now or I mean the whole column so I'm just going to move this over here. I, at this point, I think I can remove the sequence. Uh, so, but what I need to do is add a math node. I will subtract from this value 1,970. And then I will use that as the value. So I think this is not going to work well because the value is going to be too small it's just going to be like tens or twenties of pixels yeah uh, but what we can do is insert another math node here and just multiply that value by something so let me multiply by two three There we go. Uh, but they're a little bit too wide, so I think it'll make sense to make the columns narrow. Not 30, but let's say 10. Still too wide. I think I'm gonna make the columns even narrower. For that to make sense there we go but then the year actually you know what that looks kind of cool let that be the year why not so i'm going to move it down to here again yeah that's pretty cool and let's move it down so that the whole year is visible i mean that's not bad at least it's interesting so now if we uh, activate both of these together and actually let's just combine them so then we only need to activate this one last node then we have the country as well well now this bold font looks a little strange so I think I'm gonna make it medium that's better move it this way a little bit and down and maybe a bit bigger So there's the new stylish bar graph and so if we run through the countries now we should get a better sense of yeah that makes more sense so 
So I think you will agree that this did not take that much work, but the advantage is that if you now need to redo this kind of work, at some point, all you need to do is just replace the data and you have it running. In the free version, to keep this safe, you just keep the Figma file safe. Uh, in the paid version, you can save it to a text file. Now, if Generator is useful to you, you like what I'm doing and you want to support my work, the best way to do that is by buying a Generator subscription. It's monthly. Uh, you can do that by clicking anything with a pro label in the UI of the plugin when it's running. Thanks for watching.